How are your intestines doing? Most of you probably don't ask yourself that question. Your intestines are long tubes that run from your stomach to your anus. They absorb water and nutrients from what you consume. I know what you're thinking. Well, as long as I'm eating food, they are satisfied. Wrong. There's so much more you need to know. Let's talk about eight signs your intestines are unhealthy. Are you feeling bloated? What about diarrhea? Have you been losing weight like crazy? We're talking all that and more. Welcome back viewers. I'm Dr. Rex and welcome to Health Concern Channel. Before we begin, kindly use some of the time to subscribe to this lovely channel and leave us a like on this video to support the channel. Thanks for doing that, now let's begin. Weight Loss Have you stepped on the scale lately? Did you notice a dramatic difference from the last time? While weight loss is caused by several different factors, failing intestines is one of them. Your digestive tract is made up of the organs your food travels through. This includes the throat, esophagus, stomach, small and large intestine, rectum, and anus. Yuck! How ironic is it that all of these organs help you process food, yet you don't want to picture any of them while you're eating? After a meal, your food is digested and absorbed, eventually leaving your body when you hit the bathroom. If one of these essential organs isn't functioning properly, your digestive process will be interrupted. As a result, you won't receive the proper nutrients. There are countless reasons why people shed weight unexpectedly, but don't rule your intestines out. Random weight loss might be their way of telling you they need help. You could have holes or wrinkles in the intestinal wall, things that are consistent with diseases such as celiac and Crohn's disease. Who wants that? Do you know anybody who suffers from these conditions? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with our health concern community. Loss of appetite. A bad digestive system can cause you to skip out on meals. Even your favorite ones. Abdominal pain and mental health go hand in hand. If you're feeling stressed out or depressed, you might see some discomfort in your abdominal organs. This includes your intestines along with the rest of your digestive tract. As a result, you won't feel as hungry. Your breakfasts, lunch and dinner might be reduced to small items, decreasing your calorie count. This can also contribute to your sudden weight loss. One thing you can do in this situation is eat smaller portions. Either that, or try more digestible foods. I'm talking about crackers, bread, and soup. This can soothe your digestive tract and ease the pain you're feeling. Bloating. There are few bodily functions that provide the discomfort of stomach bloating. What makes it worse is that the causes of bloating seem endless. If you've been feeling like your mid-region is about to pop, it could be a sign of bad bacteria growing in your intestine. Yes, something so tiny causes something so large. Your gut area is home to bacteria which helps to digest food. When it's damaged, the amount of harmful bacteria is increased in the small intestine. This is the kind that normally grows in other parts of the gut. It is known as small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO for short. It's here where you become bloated and have trouble digesting food. You guessed it, SIBO only furthers your weight loss. Your poor appetite will also continue. SIBO is hard to fight, although one possible treatment for it is probiotics. This helps stop the overgrowth and get your bacteria back to normal. Studies show that probiotics may be more effective in treating SIBO than other medicines. So at least there's some light at the end of the intestinal tunnel. Moving on. Diarrhea. Now on to the really embarrassing stuff. I hate to break it to you, but diarrhea is yet another unpleasant feature of SIBO. Not only will you bloat, some uncomfortable toilet trips are also on the horizon for you. If you found yourself running to the bathroom a lot more lately, your intestines may be to blame. The abnormal amount of bacteria in your digestive tract will cause a disturbance in the way your food is processed. 
Don't pretend like you don't know the feeling. A steady growl. That constant rumbling in your stomach. And then an explosive horror show. Let it be known that SIBO is nothing to mess with. But it's not the only intestinal issue that leads to diarrhea. You also need to consider celiac disease, Crohn's and irritable bowel syndrome. That's right, good old IBS. We'll be discussing more of that in a few minutes. Oh yeah, and when traveling, you also should be wise to fear parasites that attach themselves to you and get into your system. Vomiting. Your unhealthy intestines can bring on severe vomiting. Especially something called viral known by couch-ridden adults as the stomach flu. This is caused by viral attacks on your gastrointestinal system. Symptoms of stomach flu not only include throwing up, but also diarrhea and cramps. Get all three of these, it's the perfect storm for disaster. This flu often arises from something you ate. At least you're not alone. It's estimated every year, 48 million people become sick from some sort of foodborne disease. But in the heat of it, it doesn't matter. The discomfort of stomach flu is so unbearable, you often don't have time to think. This pain sets in between 24 to 48 hours after exposure to the virus. So something you ate or touch could very well be the issue. The most unfortunate part is there is no effective treatment for stomach flu. The only thing you can do is try and prevent yourself from getting it. This means avoiding food and water that may be contaminated. Also, make a habit of washing your hands every time you walk through your door. Fatigue. Feeling tired these days? While you might think it's because you're not getting enough sleep, there may be another factor at play. Your intestines. Weakness and overall fatigue are natural feelings when your intestines are unhealthy. To put it plainly, if you haven't been getting the proper nutrition, your body won't receive the proper energy it needs to get you through the day. When your digestive tract isn't absorbing the proper vitamins, you're going to be sluggish. Anyone who's felt this way knows. You want to just collapse where you stand and fall asleep. Actually that's not a bad plan after I'm done with this video. Fatigue is also a signature symptom of irritable bowel syndrome, although more research is needed as to why this occurs. Joint pain. One of the things you probably never associate with bad intestines is bad joints. People suffering from irritable bowel syndrome often experience joint pain. While there is also no confirmed reason for this, experts are guessing it's due to inflammation that occurs. It's been suggested that pain sensitivity is heightened in people with IBS. A much more complex theory states that people with constipation-dominant IBS have a more sensitive immune system. If feces remains in you for a longer period than usual, toxins that were supposed to be flushed out will also remain. As a result, your immune system will work over time to fight off these particles. Since it is taking this threat rather seriously, other body parts in need of repair are neglected. This includes your joints. This is why you can feel tension around your joints. If you're not receiving medical treatment, one of the best ways to ease joint pain is to apply an ice pack on the specific area a few times a day for several minutes. Brain fog. Intestinal gas and bloating is said to cause brain fog. This is the inability to focus or maintain a proper memory. How many times have you just not been able to concentrate? You don't know what's wrong. You simply can't hold it together. These are things people experience more and more. When you get older, it's even scarier. Remember when I mentioned stress a moment ago? While it hasn't been explained fully, people with IBS often feel stressed out. Naturally, when your stress reaches a certain level, it's going to be harder to focus on the task at hand. In more extreme situations, your overall confusion can cause you to freak out. One of the best ways to deal with brain fog in the moment is to try and remain calm. It's also good to get rest and avoid alcohol and caffeine for the time being.
Talk to your doctor about your nutrition, along with any potential medications. Have you ever suffered from unhealthy intestines? Let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more contents like this one. Bye for now.